Today is the day you have all been waiting for. Today, we're gonna claim a base. We have finally gotten enough strength, and all we have to do is F claim, and we can claim our own plot of land. And, of course, we're not just gonna claim it and say, nice video, yeah. We're actually gonna defend it. We're gonna place some spawners in it, and we're gonna make an interior design, so... If you're excited, leave a like down below, and if you're not subscribed, please, I, I want the subscribers. Anyways, if this video can hit 30 likes, I will give away another Nemo rank on my Discord, and if you're not part of my Discord, join it, link in the description, but other than that, let's begin the video. So because I don't even want to show the land where I'm going to make my base, I'm just going to fly out here, It'll, I'll cut all of it out though, and I'll show me claiming the base. Now before we claim, there's actually a couple of things we can do. One of them right here is faction perks. I can actually increase the claim size. So if I want to do that, I'm going to need actually a whole bunch of money. Thankfully from my last video slash stream, check it out. I got a lot of coins. I've got 17 million. So I'm just right here. I'm just going to donate literally 2 million coins to the faction. There we go. Um, I, I got some achievements. Okay. Anyways, right here, we're going to increase our claim size. Never mind. Since I've already put in some money, I'm just gonna literally upgrade level 8, level 9, level 10. And I ran out of money. Whatever, that's fine. For now, I'm just gonna literally do F claim. There we go. We have claimed this land. Now, because it's hard to see down here, I'm actually, I got some sea lanterns. So I'm just gonna place them down and light the area up. And I'm just gonna try to find the border. So if I do F plot info, where I am right now. Would the command go through? I just want to see exactly how far out I can go. Okay, so our claim goes all the way up to here, so... And that's just right in this area. We still got a lot. This is... I'm not sure how far it goes in the other direction, so I'm just gonna cut this out, and I'll show you how big we got. Okay, so I've determined our borders. As you can see, you can just kind of see down there. We got all the way down there, to there, to there, and to there. So, the real center is gonna be over this way a little bit, but... Yeah, this is basically where the base is going to be. I'm going to go clear out the main area. I'm going to determine where exactly the center of the space is. And yeah, I'll cut back. Okay, so after a lot of calculation, I found the middle of the base. It's literally right here. This is the exact middle of the claim. And all I'm going to do now is literally go to slash shop. And I'm just going to buy some TNT. And I'm just going to blow the general area where I'm going to make the base up. Dynamite, I think, is the best for blowing stuff up. I'm not sure, though. I'm going to make sure I'm on a gapple and make sure I have fly enabled. And literally, I am just going to place a whole bunch of TNT. Oh, I am almost dead. Wow. That is... <laughs> I almost died from that. Wow. Okay, well, we're still alive. Don't worry. Oh, I almost... Half a heart. Okay, I gotta, I gotta be smart when I do this. I can't just, <laughs> I can't just be on half a heart this whole time. All right, the, the explosions have done themselves. Now I'm just gonna literally mine into here. Just load it up with TNT. Okay, honestly, I think this is a decently blown up area. I'm gonna go find a midpoint one more time and then I'll start making the base. Okay, now obviously there's some things that we definitely need. The first of which, Obsidian this is gonna be painful, but obviously we're gonna make our base out of obsidian. It's the, Easily the best so I'm just gonna hold this down and watch my money literally drain Now of course I'm gonna roll a little time-lapse here of me creating the actual base But before I do that, I just want to get some good dimensions Anyways though enjoy the time-lapse
Okay, so that took really long, but right here, I actually have two layers on my base all around, so to get into it, you'll have to go through two layers. Hopefully, that'll prevent people from, like, glitching in if they find the base. But anyways, this is the inside. I think we're not going to worry about any more walls. I want to make the interior design, so I don't know if I cut some of that time lapse off because it got really long, so I'm probably not going to cut off this interior design because I want to make it look nice, and I'm sure you guys want to see me make it look nice. Alright, so this is where we are at so far. I've got the majority of the base done. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to put here. I'm probably just going to try to put like some trees or something, but I need to get leaves. So I need to get shears, which is going to be a pain. Anyways, though, here I'm going to put water on these chests. I'm also going to have it over here. This will be like the main storage. This will be the secondary one. And then in here, in this glass cage, this is where I'm going to put all our spawners. So... Mostly it'll just be for like value and like F top, but anyways. All right, so now I've got the water in this and in this, so now if someone gets in, even if they have like a creeper egg, I don't think they can get to these chests. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing these are pretty safe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, I might've done this wrong. Okay, in chat or in the comments, please tell me, do I need to put blocks on top of these or are they automatically not able to be opened? All right, well, for now, I would say the space is looking pretty good. Just taking a look at this. Wow, I, I'm going to place these spawners now, though. I need to go to my other base and grab them. But I really like this area, and obviously, I'm not sure about these chests yet. And this, I don't even know what this area is. All right, so these are all the spawners I have. I'm probably going to end up actually upgrading them, so it's not just, so it's not just like this all filled up. So I can just do this. I got shift click. And then stack spawners oh wait, wait I gotta be holding the item I wanna all right stack spawners there all right so these are all our spawners I've most of them are just like 10 stacks so a couple of them aren't though but yeah it's it's pretty much 10 stacks fully 
Anyways, take a look at F info. If I see this, yeah, right here, we got a value of literally. We have a value of 78 million already. That is, and that's after just having placed down some spawners. I'm already getting close to the spawner cap of 256. I need about 100 more to do that, so. I'm gonna try to do that eventually, and then I can just try to focus on the mobs I actually need. But anyways, for now, I would say that's good. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video, and if you did, please leave a like down below. It would show me that you really do enjoy these videos, and apart from that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.